Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta. And today we are going to discuss the AI tool used for literature review that is Connected Papers. Connected Paper is a visual tool to help researchers and applied scientists find academic papers relevant to their field of work. Now let's see how we can use the power of Connected Papers. So for this, we will go in Google and we will write on Connected Papers. We will click on the first link. So if you are the first time user, make it sure that you sign up from here. After signing up, you will have to log in. Now, in this search bar, you can search papers uh, by keywords, the title of the paper, DOI, or any other identifier like the PubMed ID. Let's say I want to work on neural marketing, or I want to search the papers on neural marketing. Then I will click on build a graph. First of all, enter and let's see the papers which are there. Don't press the graph right now. First, press enter and see what are the papers available. Now from this uh, available papers, let's say we choose the first one. This one, application and practice of neural marketing theory. When we click on it, We'll be getting a graph. So, when you hover your mouse on left hand side, it will give you all the papers. And when you hover your mouse on left hand side, on right hand side, it will give you the description of the paper. See. Is it clear? Right. So, right hand side is for the disc full description of the paper. Now these papers are arranged according to their similarity. This is not the citation tree. Note size is, is the number of citations. Bigger the note, it means the citation is more. The note color is a publishing year. So this dark color notes are the recent ones. You can see the dark color green stands for 2022 while the light color stands for 2012. Similar papers have been connected uh, have a strong connecting lines and they cluster together see so these are all connected papers and they will have a strong connecting lines when i hover a mouse on any particular node it will give me the description of the paper on the right hand side you can see this now let's click on this guest editorial you can see this paper in google scholar on the publisher page in the semantic scholar and if the pdf is available if it is open access you'll be able to download this uh, paper also click on it and you'll get the paper directly fine let's come back on the uh, home page now if you are having a very dark connecting lines means the papers are kind of strongly connected with each other now there are two things one is a prior work and another is a derivative work when I activate the prior work, let's say for this particular paper, I activate the prior works. So when I activate the prior works, it will give me the information of previous works cited in this paper. See, this is 2019 and any other paper which has been cited in this paper, you'll be able to know. Let's click on this or this one. So you'll be able to get the papers, the prior papers to this. Now, if I click on the derivative works, Let's say the derivative work. So, uh, when I activate the derivative work, it will give me the information of later work, which I've used this paper, or rather which I've cited this paper. So, it's a prior work that is before this, and derivative work is after this. Now, when I activate any other paper, Let's say developing the design elements for the Parkinson, Parkinson disease. And if this add origin option is available, when I click on it, now this will become my base paper and I will get the graph based on this particular paper. So it will build a graph considering this as the base paper. So what is the advantage of this? 
the researcher can uh, can explore more papers i'll again come uh, come back on the home page i can also open the graph directly from here open the graph so we are having some uh, you can say if you want a premium membership these are the charges for it let's come back on the home page now uh, let's talk about this derivative box if i want this list to be according to the first author i will change it and i will get it according to the first author i can change uh, the chronology according to the year if, if it is required i can change it according to the citations i can change it according to the graph references now all this uh, uh, paper which are cited the uh, the citation can be downloaded in big, big text form format just click on it and you will get the all the papers which are cited in big text format so this was all about the ai tool which is connected paper for more such ai tool kindly subscribe to my channel you can follow me on linkedin and twitter Please refer my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos related to AI tools necessary for literature review.